Hello. Well, today's the big day and we got our TurboGrafx-16 a lot earlier than we thought. Uh, I just wanted to put this video out there real quick because a lot of people have been having trouble getting the back off of the TurboGrafx-16 and I just want to show you how to do it real quick um, so you don't damage it and in a way that's that's easy. So you can just, so you see it has this, this back here so you have to feed the cables through and in order to get it open, you want to flip it over so that the, well, I have it on here wrong because I took it off, but you have to flip it over and then you see this like tab right here? What you want to do is just kind of barely grip it and it, it'll pull away like this. See, I already have cables on here because I've been playing it with my kids, but here, I'll take, take this off. Well, no, I'll leave it. But so you just, it just slides back on like that. And it, as you can see, it's really hard to get off. But if you just if you just flip it over, hold it towards you, and on this little back spot right here, grip it and pull, it comes right off. And then you can feed the cables through. Uh, it's a little confusing, but this big hole is for the this big hole right here is for the HDMI. And then you put the the power the power supply cord right here, the USB cord right here in the back and then you feed it sideways. It says right here, uh, AC adapter. So you know it to go that way. I actually went this way the first time and I regretted it be, um, because it, it actually comes out here on the side, there's another hole. So you have to feed everything in the right place. But once everything's in place, it locks in and it's, it's easy to get off. So I just thought I'd throw this video up there real quick. I'm uh, right now in the middle of working on the review. I'm play testing everything and I'll get back to you with that as soon as I can. Hopefully this was helpful. Bye.